Yes, folks. Rock and roll. How are you doing? Woo! We are live. Excellent stuff. All right, beautiful. Ah. For those of you watching this on playback, hope you're doing well. It's going to be a full body functional class today. Nice and spicy, nice and groovy. We're going to get rock and roll in a couple minutes. We just wait for people to join on this live stream. Come to you all the way from the Lions Den, Queen Sport, bringing live fitness to you at home during these wild times. Absolutely. Hope we're all staying safe. Hope we're doing well. Hope our families are safe. Hope we're fired up. Hope we're motivated for our Friday function class. If any of you guys have been regular to the online classes or enjoying them, please do comment on the Instagram or Facebook pages. I know you can't comment on the YouTube pages because we've made the classes available for for young people. So if you can, please do comment on Facebook, Instagram, any positive feedback or feedback at all is appreciated. More so the positive ones. <laughs> all right, folks. It is 12 and we are rocking and rolling in a couple of minutes. I like to just give everybody a little bit of time to join. Grab a drink, grab some water, get comfortable. There's going to be no music on the live feed today, folks. So if you want to put the music on nice and loud back home, then it'll save listening to my rogue voice the whole way through. Nice and motivated, nice and groovy, nice and spicy. I'm just going to grab my water bottle, stay hydrated, say we're rock and rolling in a couple minutes, folks. Good enough for you. Beautiful. All right, we're almost there. <laughs> going to set the timer. There's still people joining, guys, so we're just going to give it another minute or so just to ensure that everyone who wants to join in can start from the outset. Again, thanks for joining, folks. Really appreciate it. Friday afternoon on our holidays for most of us. It's tough stuff. We're doing well. We're all staying positive. We're all staying strong at home. Ah, again, get the music loud. Nice and groovy, nice and spicy. Open the window. folks a couple more just joining in there I'm gonna give it 30 seconds folks and we are off with or without the stragglers hopefully there'll be no issues today so today folks is gonna be full body functional fitness all right so a little bit longer in the recoveries if you wish shorten them down if you're feeling super fit and you want to turn it into more of a hit class it's going to be full body. It's going to be lots of leg movements, lots of explosive jumps, some core, um, and just really get the body moving more fluidly, more dynamically um, through all the planes of motion. All right, that's enough for me. Let's get rocking and rolling. I think we'll, I'll get the timer started and then we are off. Let's get this going. It's going to be about 30, 35 seconds on today, folks with about 15, 20 seconds recovery. All right, beautiful. Okay, rock and roll. Welcome everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to the full body functional workout class with me. My name's Andrew, I will be your instructor today. Queen Sport bringing you live fitness classes at home during this period of isolation. All right, we're gonna get rocking and rolling. Go as hard as you can, reduce the recoveries if you need, extend them if you need. Grab a weight, grab a kettlebell, whatever whatever gets you motivated. All right, beautiful. Get the music on live. We're going to get rocking and rolling. Happy days. Let's go. 
Nice big warm up to start with. When we're ready. Big, beautiful star jumps. Let's go. Nice and strong. Activate that core. Get the music up live. Let's get going. Let's get motivated today. I'm feeling groovy. I know that. I'm feeling spicy. I'm feeling fired up. Let's keep that same energy at home. Get your kids involved, cats, dogs, anyone who's ready and willing to go. Full body functional fitness. Woo, three, two, one. Let's go. Jumping side to side, nice and strong. Excellent. Start to engage that core nice and tight all the way through. Three, two, one. Let's go. Into star jumps. Excellent. Good. We're just going to slowly raise the heart rate. Ready for some hard, hard work. Let's go. Three, two, one. We're back in side to side. Nice and strong. Three, two, one. Let's go. Just chug on the spot. Again, slowly raise that heart rate. Control the breathing. In the nose, out the mouth. Nice and strong. Let's go. I hope we've got the music on loud. I'm doing this in silence, so let's keep the energy up. We're going to bring each other through this. All right, we're going to slowly start to drive those knees up. 50% pushing those elbows back. Nice and strong. Really control that breathing. In five, we're going to go full sprint. Three, two, one. Drive those knees up. Let's go. Elbows back. Really push. Three, two, one. Woo. I'm relaxed there. Good. All right, you're going to go 10 arm circles forward. Good. And you're going to go 10 back. Nice and strong, nice and tall. Really controlled. Circular motion. Good. Just start to mobilize the shoulders. Full body dynamic warm up. Make sure everyone's ready, loose. Good to go. Three, two, one. Excellent. All right, we're going to rotate our hips nice and tall, nice and strong. Let's go. Reverse golf swings. Big extension up. Beautiful. Again, control the breathing. Open up that hip, keep it nice and controlled. Big extension up. We're going to go five or six on each side. Three, Two, one, beautiful. All right, we're just going to go into our squats, body weight squats, nice and controlled, heels on the ground, one o'clock, 11 o'clock, chin up, straight back, tight core, move down to parallel, drive up, squeeze, let's go, eight, ten, good, really squeeze those glutes, keep a nice tight core, keep the chin up, good. Three, two, one, excellent. We're going to go into half squat. Nice and tight. One step to the right. We're going to hold. One step into the left. We're going to hold. You're going to start to feel inside your legs, your glutes, your quads. We're going to take one step in to the right. Hold. Nice and tight. Keep it parallel. Good. One step into the left. Three, two, one. We're going to pulse three times. One. Two, three, woo, good. All right, we're going to shadow box. Nice and strong, nice and light on our toes. Again, combinations if we can. Good. Control the breathing. Nice and strong. All right, good. Punch. Let's go. Nice and strong. All the way up. Good. Straight into sprinter's arms. We're going to go in here. Let's go. Nice and strong. Driving those elbows back. Five, three, two, one. Good, beautiful. All right, excellent work. Start to raise the heart right now. Good, starting to feel warm. End our half squat, nice, easy bear crawl. We're going to go all the way up five times. We're going to control, tighten the core, pull the belly button into the spine. We're going to come all the way back out. Let's go five times, nice and strong. Good. 
Keep your intake core, don't let the hips drop. Keep your neck straight back. On the last one, we're going to go all the way out. We're going to engage your core. Keep it nice and tight. We're going to hold 10 seconds. Really engage that core. Pull the belly button in the spine. Everything's nice and tight. Good. Five, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Really good. All right. We're going to press ups on your knees. Or on your toes. See how you're feeling. Just get a wide stance with your hands. Just with just further than shoulder width apart on your toes. Chest to the floor. Drive up as you can. Let's go. Ten. On your knees if you wish. Good. Three. Two. One. Excellent work. All right. We're going to take one arm, hands and knees, take one arm. We're going to pull through. We're going to come up, we're going to rotate the torso. Good. Nice big extension. Five or six on each side. Really control that breathing. Keep it nice and tight. Good. We're just mobilizing your back. Fine, ready to go. Hard work. Nice. Five or six on each side. Good. All right. We're going to step on the floor. Knees together. Feet together. We're just going to drop the knees to either side. We're just going to mobilize that lower back. Good. Again, six to eight on each side this time. Good. Three, two, one. Woo! Beautiful. All right, make sure we stay hydrated through it, folks. And we're rocking and rolling. We're going to get started fairly soon. So we've raised the heart rate. We've activated the muscles. We've mobilized. And now we need to potentiate. So we need to get the nervous system fired up. We need to think mind-muscle connection. Make sure we're sending the signals to the brain and the muscles. Make sure everything's firing in all cylinders. So we're going to go for five jump squats, nice and explosive. If you can, if you can't, just do bodyweight squats. Let's really see what we've got. Nice, big, explosive jump squats. Watch your head on the ceiling if you've got a low roof. We're going to squat down. We're going to drive up, explode, come back in. Nice and controlled. Straight back. Drive up. Woo! Good. Three, two, one. Excellent. Beautiful stuff. All right, folks, I'm going to have a quick dumbbell. We're back in 30 seconds. Get yourself set. Get yourself a drink. We are rocking and rolling when we're ready. Okay, let's go. Get your timer set. I'll keep you straight. All right, folks, 15 seconds and we're rocking and rolling. Folks, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're going to go my pace, faster, slower. See how we go. First exercise, body weight squat. When we're ready, three, two, one, let's go. Heels on the ground, feet one o'clock, 11 o'clock. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight at the top. Exhale, once we get to the top. Let's go, get the music up. Let's keep the dream alive. Let's get going. Nice, tight core. Good. Excellent. All right, we're halfway in. Let's go. Nice and tight. So these exercises will get progressively harder as we go along. Go at your own pace. Push your head, shorten the recoveries, extend the exercises if you can. Good. Let's go. Five, three, two, one. Beautiful. 
All right. We're going to go straight into our lateral movements. Okay, nice and strong. We're going to go side to side. Touch. Side to side. Touch. If you have the space. Let's go diagonals. Back in. Let's go. Three, two, one. And we're off. Forward. Can. Touch. Back. Touch. Let's go. Woo. 30 seconds. Go as fast as you can. Should we get a nice deep squat? Really touch the floor. Good. You only need a couple meters to do this. Little shuffle, squat, back in. Let's go. Nice. 10 seconds. Good. Last five. Three, two, one. Great work. Looking good, looking strong. All right. Let's keep this momentum high. Let's keep the dream alive. We're going to go jump squats. If you can, if not, go back into bodyweight squat. Use a weight if you wish. But if you can do so, we're going to do jump squats. When we're ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Drive up. Back down. Good. Excellent. Go at your own pace. Woo. Drive. Reset. Up. Reset. Let's go. 15 seconds. Nice and controlled. Landing on both the feet. Straight back. Take core. Let's go. Five seconds. Let's keep working hard. Big energy. Let's get three more squats. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Woo. And relax there. Great job. <laughs> Fantastic work. All right. We're going to go back into our lateral shuffles. When we're ready, in five seconds, same as round one, three, two, one, let's go. Diagonals, side to side, let's go. Fun for the kids, let's get them involved, use a bean bag, anything you wish, let's go. Beautiful, 15 seconds, remember to breathe, looking good folks. And the faster you go, the more you're going to get out of this, the harder it will be. But we're looking good. Let's keep that motivation high. Let's keep the energy strong and looking good. Working hard, working strong. Working fast, working smart. Three, two, one. I'm relaxed there. Beautiful. All right, good. We're going to keep a pretty consistent theme with that high intensity training. But we're just getting the body moving different ways, different levels of power, explosiveness, and functionality. So in that regard, we're going to go back into our jump squats. Okay, great exercise. Do them if you can. If not, again, regular squat, absolutely fine. We're taking a slightly longer recovery here if you're looking for quality as well as the quantity. All right, we're back in five seconds. Big, powerful jump squats. When we're ready, three, two, one. Let's go. Drive up, really explode. Let's go. Let's see if we can get at least 12. Nice controlled landing, reset if your knees are bad. Back down, explode, reset. Good, if you can go straight in, please do. Tight core all the way through. Nice strong core, let's go five seconds, three more. One, two, three, woo, beautiful. All right, fantastic work. It's gonna be pretty heavily leg dominant at the beginning. Your big, powerful muscles, your glutes, hamstrings, your quads. We really wanna get them working. We really wanna get them firing. If you feel like you wanna exercise in between rounds, feel free, but I'm looking for quality. Of motion, all right, a bit more strength based today. Good, all right. Next round of exercises, we're gonna go into our lunges. Again, our legs are nice and warmed up, we're ready to go. So let's keep that theme alive, when we're ready. We're gonna do lunge and twist, alternate legs. We go down a nice strong lunge position. 
Rotate 90 degrees to the side of the lead leg. Repeat the opposite side. Good, let's go. Lunge, twist, beautiful. Really engage, really drive up those glutes, keep a nice tight core. You want 90 degrees between the lower and the upper leg. Good. Nice strong position, control, rotate. Let's go, 15. Drive up, nice and strong. Again, you're very welcome to go to faster pace than me. I'm talking all the way through here, so I'm trying to keep it at a slightly lighter pace for myself. But let's go, see what we've got. Let's really dig deep, five seconds. Good, three, two, one. Good, nice tight corner, strong in the lower back. All right, this time we're gonna continue with the lunges, but we're gonna get a bit more dynamic. We're gonna go jump in alternate lunges, if you can. If not, go back to the same as round one. But if you can, let's really give this one a go. Again, you really wanna focus on a good landing on the balls of your feet. Nice and strong. So we're gonna lunge, we're gonna jump, we're gonna swap legs in midair, land in that lunge position. Look at my back straight the whole way through, nice and tight. When we're ready, three, two, one, let's go. Good. Nice and strong with the landing, nice tight core. We're really gonna feel this one. <laughs> your quads, glutes hamstrings, also your core as well. Good, see what we've got. Really feeling that burn. Three, two, one. Woo! Wow, beautiful stuff, really feeling that one. Excellent, really dynamic, really tough, explosive movement there. So you wanna really recover between these Exercise and make sure we get the quality in. Good technique all the way through. Good, all right. Okay, we're really blasting the legs at the beginning. Don't worry, you'll thank me for it in a few days time. This time, we're gonna come down. Squat down, up with the legs, squat down. Close and touch, good. All groovy, all spicy. Good, really appreciate the energy. Let's go, 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Split legs, squat down. Back up, good. Woo. Really blast these legs. Nice tight core. Chin up, good. Look for a nice wide stance here. Good, touch the floor if you can. Beautiful. Let's go, 10 seconds. Let's get a nice rhythm, nice controlled breathing. Three, two, one. Woo, beautiful, working hard, working strong. Fantastic stuff, great energy. Woo, we're looking really good folks. Really appreciate it, really appreciate the hard work. All right. You're going to really thank me for this one. I'm even nervous to demonstrate. It's okay. We're going to go into our crab walks side to side. Okay, really, <laughs> really blasting those legs. Nice tight position. Taking those steps. Two steps to one direction, two steps back in. See if we can get almost that 90 degree angle the whole way through. Keeping that nice and tight. When we're ready, three, two, one, let's go. Nice and strong. Excellent. Tight core, straight back, chin up, chest up. Good. See if you can get lower than I can. I'm feeling it here. Really strong in those inner thighs, glutes. Outer glutes. Woo! Good tension there. If you're struggling, hold. If you're really struggling, you can use the wall and hold that position there. Good. Let's keep this going. Five seconds. Great energy. Let's go all the way through. Nice and strong. Let's keep it there. Nice and tight. 
Let's go. Three, two, one. Woo! Great work, folks. We're looking good. Mm. Make sure we hydrate all the way through. All right, beautiful. So as you notice, we're not quite as cardio-based today as we would be in our head classes. We're trying to keep this functional, but a little bit more strength-based, a bit more dynamic. All right. So we're just going to give the lower body a little bit of a rest, a little bit, but we're still going to use it. We're going to go into our bear crawls. Half squat, same as the warm-up. Nice and controlled. When we're ready, three, two, one. We're slowly crawling all the way out into a full plank position with a straight arm, tight core, pull the belly button into the spine. We're going to bring it all the way back in, nice and tight. Good. We're going to crawl all the way out. Get nice and strong, nice and functional with our movements. Love this exercise. Really start to engage the shoulders, the glutes, and the core, of course. Again, pull up belly button to the spine. Let's go 20 seconds to go here. Again, it's really nice and controlled. You're keeping strong, you're keeping tight. 15 seconds. Good. Great energy, folks. Get the music up nice and loud. Really appreciate the hard work. Let's go. 10 seconds. Wow, I'm really feeling the leg pump from those other, <laughs> those other exercises. All right, everyone, let's get one more rep in. We're feeling strong all the way. Let's go. Nice and tight. Let's hold it there. 10 seconds. I can feel the legs really straining. Let's go. Five seconds left. Tight core. Belly button the spine. Don't let the hips drop. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, beautiful. Really good. All right, this time, let's get a little bit innovative if you can. We're just going to go into our press ups, okay? However, if you've got a chair or any sort of device, you want to really challenge yourself, then how about trying with your feet up on the chair, okay? If you can, of course, if you've never done this before, this isn't the time to try, but if you have, let's give it a go. Feet up in the chair. Again, chest to the floor. If not, on your knees or on your toes as per normal. Good. All right. When we're ready, we're going to go press up 30 seconds. If you haven't started already, three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Nice tight core, chest to the floor. We're going to go hands with shoulder width apart, elbows tucked in. Good. Almost halfway there. I can't believe I'm still feeling my legs straining. <laughs> One of those beautiful lunges. All right, 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's get in a good rhythm, nice and strong. Really push yourself. Let's go. Exhale and lay up. Three, two, one. Woo! Beautiful. All right, good job. Grab a quick drink. Hope we're all fairly clear on that exercise. Okay, we're just going to give ourselves a little bit of a respite here. We're just going to go into a standard plank, all right? So when we're ready, on our forearms, three, two, one, let's go, nice straight line, straight back, chin up, from the belly button into the spine. Good. Again, if you're feeling good, lift the leg, alternate legs, one or two inches off the ground, keep a nice tight core. Again, this is more an active recovery at this point. Although I know I'm certainly feeling it. Let's go five more seconds. Three, two, one. Beautiful. 
All right, great job. We're looking good, we're looking strong. We're gonna go back into our press ups. All right, big, big energy. I'm just gonna grab a quick tissue. But when we're ready, let's get back into our press ups. Three, two, one, let's go. Into our press ups all the way through. Let's go, nice and strong. 15 seconds. Let's go. Let's go, press ups. Woo. Drive. Big energy, come on. Let's really push hard. Five seconds. Let's get after it, come on. Find the extra gear. Three, two, one. Woo! Beautiful. All right, fantastic stuff. We're looking good. This time, <laughs> a little bit of a plank variation. All right. Hands on the ground, forearms on the ground. Nice strong plank position. Right knee to right elbow. Nice and tight core. Left knee to left elbow. Good. <laughs> when we're ready. Let's really get after it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Straight line, tight core. Woo! Pushing hard. Excellent. Great energy. What we put into this session, you will get out in dividends. There's no substitute for hard work, folks. Let's go. Ah, good. Keep your back nice and straight. Bring that knee to the elbow. Nice and controlled, nice and tight. Put your belly button into the spine, nice and strong core. Let's go. Woo! 10 seconds. Ah, let's get after it. Come on. Five. Three, two, one. Woo! Excellent. Great work. All right. Now we're really going to push the boundaries here. For those of you who struggle with upper body, we're gonna go push up and twist into our side plank. All right. Woo. We're really feeling this now. Our body should be nice and warm. So we're gonna get a nice strong push up position. We're gonna push up. We're gonna rotate our upper body. Swap sides. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. 35 seconds. Let's drive up. Rotate, good. If you're struggling onto your knees, or normal press up is fine. Again, you can come up, extend slightly. Good. We keep it nice and controlled. If you're going on your knees, let's go. Really push. 10 seconds. Drive up. Rotate. Three, let's get one more rep. Two, one, Woo. Wow, great work, folks. We're really pushing that hard. That's what I like to see. Good job. All right, into our side plank. Straight in when we're ready. Three, two, one. Nice, strong side plank, straight line with the obliques in the lower body. We're gonna hold here nice and tight, tighten the core, nice and strong. Arms are starting to burn, really engage that core. Good, 15 seconds. Lift the leg if you want. Good. Control the breathing. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Woo! Good. Excellent stuff. All right. Woo! Beautiful. All right, this time we're, <laughs> we're heading another push up variation. All right, we've really got to hit everybody today as well. Like I said, full body. 
big, big results. This time where it's more of a shoulder press up. For those that haven't done this before, you're just changing the angle. So we're targeting the shoulders more than the chest and the triceps. So you want to get up onto, the, onto your toes. Good. Into that bear crawl position. And we're just going to lean in. We're bringing our shoulders slowly down, nose to the floor. Good. And you're going to start to notice the weight's coming onto the shoulders rather than on that chest. Good. So when we're ready, three, two, one, let's get after it. Let's go. Come on. Good. Again, if you're struggling here, onto your knees, change the angle. Just bring your upper body forward, your, your nose ahead of your palms, and really push up with that shoulder blade. I think my muscle connection. Let's go. Nice strong position. Good. Nice tight core, straight back. 10 seconds. Good. Five. Three. Two. One. Woo! Really feel the shoulders there. Good. All right, back into our side point. Opposite side from round one. I'm going to really feel this now. Again, it's not that same kind of cardio burn that we're looking for, that same muscular endurance. It's a little bit of strength work, a little bit of a little bit of power, and then obviously our muscular endurance comes in as well. So when we're ready, three, two, one. Let's go. We just really want our body to be able to move in a variety of ways and be strong through different planes of motion. It's very easy to train one plane, one direction. You know, whether it's just lifting things over our head, whether it's just squatting down. We want to be able to move diagonally, laterally, hold side planks, tight core, rotate, you know, full body functional movement, really good for longevity, great for all around athleticism. Okay, let's hold 10 seconds, nice and strong, tight core, straight line. Really hard, starting to feel those arms burning. Five seconds, let's go, let's really push deep. Five, three, two, one. Woo, beautiful. Folks, unbelievable work so far. We're really working hard. I really appreciate the energy. Woo, great stuff. All right, grab yourself a drink. Let's recover nice and strong. We're really getting after it. Beautiful work. Like I said, there's no substitute for hard work. Consistency and just that dedication to want to improve ourselves, have a goal, set short term goals, medium term goals, and let's hit those targets. Let's get after them hard, and the long term goals will fall into place. Good. All right, so we've got a little bit more upper body work to go. Grab yourself a chair if you can. We're going to do some tricep dips. And then we're just going to start to produce, introduce a little bit more ab work in between. All right, good. So I've got my trusty chair here. Could be better, not going to lie. But when we're ready, we're going to go into our tricep dips. All right. Hopefully this thing stays nice and stable when I'm live on camera. So back to your arms, your triceps. I'm just going to dip down. I'm going to drive all the way up. You've probably done this exercise a million times in circuit classes. All right. Easier if you bend your knees. It's more difficult if you extend your legs. Even more difficult if you put your legs up on the chair. So when we're ready, three, two, one, let's go. Tricep dips. 30 seconds. Good. Exhale as you extend up. 20 seconds. Good. 15. 10. Drive. Five. Let's go. Really push. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh, man. 
really feel that one. Good. All right. Just to slowly introduce some abs before we really go into our ab blast at the end. We're just going to go with a nice, simple crunch, nothing too fancy. Heels on the ground. Just keep a nice, strong core. Left off the shoulder, we're just going to reach for the heel. Good. When we're ready. 30 seconds. Three to one, let's go. Keep the shoulders off the ground. Keep a nice tight contracted position. Good. We're looking for a little movement. Good. Nice and tight. The reason I'm introducing this exercise is really just to pump some blood into that midsection. And to really engage your abdominal region before we go into some more complex moves. Good. Let's go 10 seconds. Nice and tight. Little movements. Squeeze and pulse. Let's go. Five, three, two, one. Woo! Beautiful. Really good. Excellent work. All right. Let's go one more round of tricep dips. And then we're going to really blast some core exercises all the way through to the end. All right. When we're ready, triceps. Three, two, one. Let's go. We're back in. Excellent work. Really good. Really squeeze. Think time under tension. Should be no work coming from the elbows or the, the shoulders here. So all the backs of your arms and triceps. Time under tension, really squeeze, drive up. Let's go, 15 seconds. Good, 10 to go. Last five. Three, two, one. Whew. Beautiful. Great work, folks, we're looking good. We're almost there. Again, after these workouts, if you find it's too easy or you want to do a bit more, you can always go online on the Queensport YouTube channel and look at some of my previous ab workouts or hip classes. But if we're really working hard and pushing ourselves, then these workouts should be more than enough. You get shorter recoveries and really give it everything you've got in rounds. All right. Good job. Enough of that. Whew. Okay, it's time. Again, we'll start off simple. We'll go Russian twist. Legs off the ground. I love this exercise. I do it in all my workouts. Nice tight core. Just going to get that rotation off the trunk and work our glutes. When we're ready, three, two, one, let's go. Use a weight if you wish. Good. Come on, let's see what we've got. 15 seconds. Nice and tight. Think mind muscle connection. Really squeeze. Keep his legs off the ground. Big full rotation. 90 degrees. 10. Let's go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Nice. Really good. All right, beautiful stuff. Let's go jack nice. If you can. If you can't do this exercise, you can start off with a normal, a basic knee to chest crunch. Okay? If you can, we're going to go hand to toe. Big full extension. Squeeze all the way through. All right? When we're ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Again, nice tight core, no strain in the lower back, really strong, engage this midsection. Let's keep this going, nice and strong all the way through, let's go. 15 seconds. Good. 
Strike. Five. Two. One. Woo. Wow. That was pretty spicy. I'm not going to lie. Woo. Really good. Beautiful. All right. We're really getting after it. We're going to go push kicks. Straight up and down. Legs in the air. Nice tight core. Lower back on the ground. Legs up above. Straight line. Straight up and down. Three, two, one. Let's go. Don't want the legs coming down. I want a nice straight line all the way through. We're going to really engage the lower abs. Push all the way up. Let's go. Good. 15 seconds. That's 10. Five. Two. One. Beautiful, unbelievable stuff. All right, folks. I hope you're motivated. I hope you're less isolated than me. Woo. This is where you really need a teammate or you need to get the music up nice and loud. I'm doing this in silence, folks, so send me some of that energy. Send me that, some of that power. Let's go all the way through. All right, let's keep it nice and functional so we sent the, the blood into the midsection. We should be feeling nice and strong in there now. Okay, so plank variations, keep it spicy. All right, nice, strong, straight plank position. Nice, tight core, right arm to right shoulder, left arm to left shoulder. All right, again, nice and strong, keep control, engage. Take your time, good. Let's go, three, two, one, and we're up. Good. Good. Nice, strong, straight back. Don't let the hips sink. Don't stick your bum in the air. Tight core, let's go. It's so much easier when you engage your core, folks, honestly. Good. 10 seconds. Let's go. Three, two, one. Woo. It's one of those exercises when you try to rush it, it just doesn't work out. Man, I feel I feel powerful everywhere, but I feel I feel good everywhere. But I feel good. You guys are keeping me motivated. We'll stay nice and strong. Let's go, folks. Come on, let's raise the tempo. Just really push hard this next few exercises. Just stay hydrated. Just stay invigorated. All right. Big energy, big results. Working hard, working strong all the way through. We're going to go into our plank up. Nice strong plank position. Nice tight core. Up one hand. We're going to drive up and back down. Let's go. 30 seconds. We drive up. Back down on those forearms. Change sides. It's going to be easier on one side, but let's go both. 20 seconds. Let's go. 15. Ah. Woo. 10. 5. 3. 2. One. Oh man. Beautiful stuff. We're almost there, folks, in case you're wondering. We really are. We're almost there. Alright. Like you said, today's a bit more strength based. It's not so much the you know high intensity, short recoveries, get the cardio, heart rate pumping. It's really a bit of strength. Of course a bit of muscular endurance, but we're taking that recovery time, you know. We're making sure we keep the quality all the way through. Whew. Really good. 
Great energy. All right. This time, straight arm plank all the way through. Every five seconds, I'm going to say shuffle. We're going to shuffle our feet back a couple of inches. We're going to hold. We're going to shuffle back another couple of inches. And we're going to hold. All right. Get your straight arm plank position. We're going to rock and roll in three, <coughs> two, one. Let's go. Great job. Nice tight core belly button in the spine. Focus. Three, two, one. We're going to shuffle our feet back. We're going to hold. Tight core. Strong. Three, two, one. We're going to shuffle back. Tight core. Strong. One more time if you can. Shuffle your feet back. Nice and elongated, strong plank position. Don't let those hips drop. Straight back. Tight core. Let's go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good. I really focused on pulling my belly button the spine that time, engaging that core. It's a little bit harder to do when you're talking, but if you really engage this, it just takes the pressure off. You know, you don't start to recruit your lower back, and your legs, and your arms as much. You keep everything tight in here, and that's what we want. Good, folks. We're almost there. I, I promise. Couple more exercises to finish. Roll into our Supermans. <clears throat> okay, on our front. <sighs> Hands. Straight on. Straight legs. We're just going to extend up together, nice and controlled. Like so. Good. When we're ready. Three, two, one. Nice tight core. Big extension up. Good. Let's keep that going. Big strong movement, 15 seconds. Good. Five, three, two, one. Woo! Good job. All right. Almost there. Almost there. Woo! We're going to do plank with, with a lifted leg. One more Superman's or bird dog when we're done. All right, so into our plank position, nice and strong, nice and functional. Three, two, one, let's go. We're going to hold. It's going to lift that leg a couple of inches off the ground. Not let those hips move at all. Or that lower back, nice and straight, really tight. Let's go, 25 seconds. Fifteen. Good. Ten. Last five. Three, two, one. Great work. Whew. All right, we're back into Superman's phenomenal exercise of the day. Who are we ready? Straight on. Three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze your core, squeeze that lower back. Keep it nice and tight. Good. 15. Let's go. Big push all the way through. 10 seconds. Good. Three, 
two, one, two, Woo, good. All right, bird dog, straight in, opposite arm, opposite leg, straight line all the way through, three, two, one, let's go. So today we really focused on those big explosive functional movements. And then the reason that we do so many stability and core exercises at the end, so when we do those big explosive, explosive functional movements, we do them properly. You know, we don't get injured. We're working the correct muscles. We're stable, we're strong. There's no instability in the knees or through the hips. It's hold 10 seconds. You know, we can really do them properly and really focus on working the muscles and getting the, the most out of the muscles because we're not thinking about corrective stability. We've got a nice tight core, and we're strong all the way through. So that's the reason that we do those big explosive movements and the reason that we focus on this core and stability at the end, you know, is so we can recover and we can do the exercises correctly. All right, swap arms, swap legs. Last exercise of the day. Again, we haven't done any real endurance work with the with the abs today just enough to get the blood pumped in there and to really engage your core and to stabilize and sometimes that's more important than just blasting out setups you know that only really works a very small portion of your midsection you know by really incorporating these core and stability exercises we're getting a, a well-rounded trunk a good stable structure and that allows us to really engage our abs more when we go to do those isolated exercises. So just to give you a bit of background on why we do it in such a way. Let's go five seconds. Nice tight core. Belly button to the spine. Three, two, one. Beautiful, folks. Unbelievable stuff. That was really a great workout. I mean, I could tell we were, we were in that one together. And that we were really working hard back home. Like I said... Might be, might be a slightly different structure than what you're used to. A um, bit longer recoveries. But again, we're really focusing on that good, strong um, quality in our exercises. So grab yourself a drink. Um, fantastic work. Really good energy. Really appreciate it. And we're working hard back home. We're really focusing on getting those movements right. Uh, grab a drink. We're going to do a quick five minute cool down and then we're done and dusted. So. Yeah, thanks again. Really appreciate that. I'm going to grab a quick sip of juice here and then we'll start to cool down in about 30 seconds. So great job. Really good. Fantastic work. I know that I've got a good, a good pump on over the body, a good level of fatigue. But again, it's a different kind of fatigue. It's not so much the heart is pounding. It's not so much the lactic acid is flooding through the muscles. But you feel that overall sense of, you know, I've really put some power into this. I've really gassed the muscles through big, powerful movements, so well done. It's good to spice it up from your usual hit class as well. You know, you don't want to keep burning those high intensity workouts. You need to start to drain your glycogen stores and you just don't get the same out of them. So it's good to get some functional strength in there as well. Some of the exercises are pretty similar, but it's more about how we do them, you know, the recovery and the quality. It's a different, different ballgame. All right, folks, enough talking from me. When we're ready, we're just going to jog in the spot nice and light. Start to flush out some of that lactic acid. It was great work today. Nice, gentle warm down. We're going to recover nice and strong. Good. Three, two, one. Side to side. Nice and light on our toes. Great work. Woo. Good. Three, two, one. Just a nice little jog again on the spot. Nice and light. It's really just to flush that lap together. Three, two, one. Good, give your legs a wee shake off. Just gonna shrug the shoulders. <coughs> Good, 10 forward, 10 back. 
It's uh, okay, nice straight stretch up to the sky, arms above your head. It's definitely a unique challenge for me as an instructor to uh, to instruct everyone online through the laptop. I'm particularly having to do all the hard work. I feel <laughs> I feel everyone's pain now when I'm uh, putting them through these exercises because talking all the way through whilst doing burpees and jump squats is a uh, is a unique challenge in itself. Sometimes you forget to breathe for for like a minute. And you wonder what's just happened. All right, hands behind your head. I hope we're all enjoying the sunshine, folks, but all, always in a, in a safe and controlled manner, staying at home as much as possible. Three, two, one, going down one side. I know we've all tried to be creative at home through these challenging times. I've uh, I've started learning Spanish, which has been an interesting challenge to swap sides. And uh, I've never done so many kettlebell sumo deadlifts in my life. Glutes of steel by the end of this, if there's one positive. Good, three, two, one. All right, grab your front of your foot and your hand. You're going to bring your heel to your glute. You're going to stretch the front of your leg and stretch your quad. Use a, a balance of wall if you need, but if you focus on a spot in front of you, you should be able to hold your balance pretty well. Always recommend at least 10 minutes cooling down, but today we're just going to do a wee five minute cool down so I can let everyone go, get on with their day, and enjoy the sun. Good. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to stretch the hip flexors. So nice long in, lean into that rear leg, straight back. I'm going for about an hour, folks, so well done if you joined in. It's been one of those long classes. Again, longer recoveries. I just want to make sure everyone gets those movements right because um, nothing they haven't really covered before, but a bit more dynamic, a bit more challenging, so... You really just want to focus on the quality, you know, rather than just blast it out. We do that on Monday. We're back in on Monday for a hit class, short and sweet and intense. All right, almost there, folks, on the floor, one leg lower, knee to chest. We're going to stretch that glute. Yeah. Um, if anyone's got any interesting workouts or recommendations or things they want to have covered, I mean, I'm going to probably start getting a little bit more inventive from next week. Um, start to use some kettlebells, some dumbbells. So if you've got weights at home, you know, you can you can join in and we'll start to incorporate those types of movements. We wanted to cover at least three or, or four weeks of just bodyweight stuff primarily just so that everyone can kind of get involved and get stuck in get themselves up to scratch what's going on in this unique situation, but definitely going to start adding in some more weighted exercises in the near future. All right, stretch the hamstrings out, straight leg, reach for the toe, just hold there, stack stretch. Yeah, I'd love to throw in some kettlebell exercises, some dumbbell exercises, and some resistance bands, so if you want to comment on the on the Facebook or Instagram page of what you like to see, then I'm willing to adapt and, and look at different options. I just want to try and make it as accessible for everyone as possible. But variety is the spice of life. And even for myself, it's good to, it's good to throw in the, the little bit of resistance. Good. All right. We're almost there, folks. Let's just go straight into stretching at the back when we're done. Onto our front. Seal pose. Hands by our chest. We're going to extend up. Nice and strong. Nice and controlled. Stretch and abs. Lower back. Three, two, one. We're going to slowly lower down. Bring our hands slightly further back, closer to our hips. We're going to extend up once again. Three, two, one. Slowly lower down. Last time. Hands slightly further back. Extend up. Three, two, one. All the way back. Three, two, one. In the child pose and relax there. 
Good stuff, folks. Give yourself a round of applause. Excellent work. Thanks for sticking all the way through. I'm absolutely goosed. Um, I hope you had a good session. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys again on Monday for a full body hit class. All right. Stay safe and take care. All the best, folks.